Yeah, there you go, victory. They lost uh, 1100, we lost 900. And we killed them and retreated them over there, which is nice. It means we can take the city and then we'll have the city to defend. Um, I think if I, if I was ready for the British, like, I wasn't, no way am I joining you. What? I don't want to fight them. Why are they fight? Oh, my God. They've, they've got, like, one city. And I do not want to go to war with the Russians, which I just did. Austria's declaring war on me now, for real? I don't want to... They're just all fighting for that fucking city. Which I'm going to lose, like, really, really quickly. I don't have any troops there. That is really, really annoying. Fucking Ottomans bringing me into European conflicts. God damn them. God damn them all to hell. Yeah, so that's annoying that everyone's just declared war on me, like the Russians and the Austrians. That is really, really frustrating. I'm pretty sure I'm at war with Russia anyway. Like, that city in uh, Eastern Europe is not going to hold for much longer. Like, I'm going to build some troops there, as many as I can, to try and hold it and just let them, just let the meat grinder effect happen. And hopefully just cut down many, many Russian and Austrian troops. Uh, but I won't be able to hold it. I can't get troops there quick enough. Oh, no, this is good. This is really good, actually. Because um, the Austrians have a city... Oh, yeah, I'm going to get all my ports raided, which sucks a lot of dick, but I can't really stop that. Um, the Austrians have a city over here. Yeah, and I can take that, and then they won't be part, of, like, it won't be part of America, which is nice. It's a really long way away, and I can't really get a decent amount of troops there. Like, I can't get deep, good troops there at all. Can I recruit? Yeah, here we go. I can recruit good troops here. So if I just get maybe like six units of infantry and uh, a, like a cav unit, hopefully I can take the, the city over there. That would be really, really nice. Yeah, that would be brilliant if I can take that. I mean, I have a decent army down here I could send, but that's I, I want to use that to take out the Indians at some point. Uh, so yeah, it's back to Jamaica. Let's go ahead and just take the city really quickly. Uh, whoa, I guess these guys are all in reinforcement. Which is fine. I'm actually going to go ahead and fight this because this way I'll be attacking the city, meaning I'll be able to use my cannons really, really well, um, which will really help me out. Because in the previous battle, I couldn't use my cannons uh, effectively at all, which really hurt me because my cannons are really, really strong. So hopefully this time I can use my cannons well and I can actually hurt the infantry before it actually gets to mine. And they rushed me. They rushed me with their numbers, which is really clever. They had more numbers than me, so they just rushed my line and started going into melee with me, which is always a, a clever idea if you have more uh, missiles than the enemy. I mean, more infantry than the enemy. So, yeah, we're in a nice open field, which is good. With a nice hill I can take over here. Let's go ahead and set up our cannons. Where's our infantry at? We'll go ahead and just have a nice long line of infantry. Colonial Marines. Oh, I did not want to select them. I want to select my Colonial Marines. They can be on this flank. There's not many of them left. Holy shit. There is very, very few of them. That's not too good. My, yeah, my infantry numbers are not looking too good. If I do say so uh, myself. I'll have what remains of my infantry over there. My general. There's not much of my general left either. And just some, some Minutemen over here. So yes, I do not have many men left whatsoever. Let's start off with our cannons. We'll just start hurting uh, their firelock. This is the army we need to be taking care of all the way over here. This is the army which is going to hurt us because that's actually a decent amount of infantry. Like, it's not loads, but it's still a fair amount. We'll go ahead. Oh, they're already... <laughs> God, this is the power of cannons. They're already starting to rout because my cannons just absolutely erect them. Uh, which is nice. We'll go ahead and move up our Minutemen. I mean, not a minimum, our colonial marines even. We'll change our focus of our infantry. If we can just take the woods over here, that'll be a really, really nice uh, advantage for us. We'll probably need to change the focus of our cannons just a little bit. We'll let our cannons shoot a little bit more, and then we'll turn them around, get them a little bit closer. We've got our dudes over here, though, moving up. If we can take these woods as well, that'll be pretty good. Yeah, if we take these woods, then we have them woods secure and these woods secure, allowing us to have a really nice arc on the enemy and just have a really nice fire uh, power. We'll go ahead and run our men into position over here, just because they're about to get 
beaten into position by the Firelocks, which isn't good. We'll go ahead and speed it up just a little bit as well. So yeah, our men should get up and hopefully just start volleying them. That should make them route pretty quickly. Yeah, there you go. They're routing already. Just from one volley of my men. Yeah, that's, that's, that's really, really nice. Uh, cannons, we need, to, we need to definitely change focus as soon as the enemy... Yeah, there you go. Oh no, shit, 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 shit. What did I just do? I thought I just sent my men into combat there. That was scary. My cannons into combat, I should say. That was very scary. I thought I would have just lost them. Okay, now we just need to start hitting these dudes. Oh, that was a really nice cannon hit. We just need to start hitting their infantry. We have the woods very secure, so that's going to give us the extra cover. We have our infantry over here. We should really be running, like... They've just leave their, left their cannons completely undefended, so... I'm going to go ahead and just volley their cannons. No, I'm just going to charge their cannons and hopefully we can kill them. Hopefully their cannons... Yeah, their cannons shouldn't last too long, actually, against my, my infantry. Even though there's not many of my... Like, m there's not a lot of my infantry there. There's still some, and that should beat this, these dudes in hand-to-hand -hand combat pretty quickly. It's before they even dismounted as well. So, yeah, as you can see, they just got absolutely wrecked over there. These dudes should hopefully get wrecked as well. They have actually brought up some men, some horses. Hopefully that won't be too big a deal. They're just sort of chilling. Hopefully they don't charge in. Because I don't have enough men to actually make square formation over here. My cannons just can just continually pound on the enemy infantry. Yeah, this is it's all going pretty well so far. We'll go ahead and just form up over here. And just hopefully just stop volleying the enemy. Before they charge, they are charging. We, we just need to charge them back. There's no way we'll be able to get into formation first before they do. They're probably going to make all this, all these units route, which is sad. Oh, they also hit me with their cannons as well. What cannons do they have left? Oh, over here, they have some cannons. That's not too good. I have actually got some most of their men routing, which is nice. Hopefully, we can just kill this cab. There's only 17 of them left. If I just run them into position, hopefully they can get their muskets off and just stop volleying back. But it doesn't look like their cab's going to give me a chance to do so. Might shoot a few shots off, but it's not going to be worth it in the long run at all. How are my cannons doing? Are they just putting down a nice rate of fire? It does look so much, it just looks so much better on this, this graphic style, I feel. Especially, yeah, the cannons just look epic. Even though he's kind of missing it still. <laughs> but I'll get, I'll let him off, I'll let him off. Yeah, they've, they've just lost so many men to my rifles. To my cannons, even, I should say. My rifles haven't even got into combat yet. So, yeah, the Colonial Marines are about to finish off the cav. There's only one of them left. But they've taken severe numbers. We're going to go ahead and take this wood, but there's hardly any of them left. To actually do anything. But there's, like, so few of them. So, we're actually going to move up our infantry, our main line. Of grenadiers, we're gonna head and run these dudes into position just to so we, because I feel like these these infantry are actually gonna come and meet my colonial marines in the woods. It looks like they're heading towards that, and we can't have that. Our colonial marines will get absolutely shot to shit because they just have so many more, uh, so many more rifles than me. On that flank, at least. So we just need to move up our grenadiers. Hopefully they can get information and they can start uh, shooting off a nice cone of uh, musket bullets when the enemy advances. That would be nice. Have they actually moved out of my cannon range or not? Where is where's the cannon max range? Let's go ahead and have a look. Are they out of range yet? They are sort of just about out of range so my shots will be really... Oh no, they're only out of range for some. I'm not quite sure what one's so... Uh, we can. I can't actually make formation over here. I can't make square, so we just have to volley off and hopefully we can shoot them down and make them route before they charge in. There you go. That was a really, really nice uh, volley by my men. Made them route. Impressive. I am proud of each and every one of you men. Proud of each and every one. They get some nice. Uh, they get some a nice feel for battle as well. Making the cav route. My cannons are still going in, they're falling short, but I might as well keep up a fire because it's not like I have to worry about ammunition at all. 
My men are actually hiding in the woods over here. Which is, yeah, which is nice. I can have a nice surprise attack if needs be. Cannon shots are still just going in. That one bounced. That was cool. Oh, they actually have cannons as well shooting at me, don't they? Where are their cannons? Over here. Yeah, they're going to be a bit of a hassle. Even though they missed, but still. They set fire to grass. Not the grass. Not the beautiful flowers. They will pay for that. They will pay for that indeed. Okay, I guess... Um, advance the infantry. They have insulted the grass. So we shall insult them. This is not a good idea in the slightest. But we have to defend the honour of the grass and the flowers. They are burning the beautiful red tulips. And we have to avenge them. So we will advance. Until... Okay, they're advancing now. Retreat back to the woods? No. We will hold our ground here. This is where we will make our stand. They have so many more men. This is not very clever of me. My men need to get into formation quickly. On the upside, though, they have just come into fire of my, uh, my, my cannons. So hopefully my cannons can actually aid my men in destroying their morale. That's what I'm hoping, at least. And I just about have enough have enough men to actually do line fire. So that's going to help me out. Yeah, as you can see, that a lot of their men are actually routing in their, their front line. And they are actually being outflanked over here as well. Meaning, meaning they'll, they'll have a lot less morale. They'll be taking more casualties. So overall, uh, my outflanking manoeuvre was pretty good. We're going to go ahead and run up my outflanking force. Because it's doing a decent amount of damage. Whoa, that's a lot of men. Oh, it's their fire like arm um, civilian. Yeah, they're routing, no surprise. They have no morale whatsoever. They're actually losing a lot of rifles, which is nice. Especially when they're routing as well. They'll be losing even more. My cannons are just going to town. My cannons are really going to town. They're just firing at such a quick rate as well. It is so nice. We'll have some nice slow-mo cannon fire as well. Oh no, he still has to speed it up. That one's shooting. They're all shooting at random rates. I thought they'd go along in a nice line, but I guess they have different re uh, reload times. Each unit, I, I, I guess. Oh, my men have gone invisible again. We'll go ahead and just reform. I guess it's, oh, they have one unit left. Uh, one unit left standing. We'll go ahead and advance our line. But yeah, they, they shouldn't last long. They should be gone pretty quickly. And we'll have a nice slow mo. I bet you they're going to reload. I bet you they're going to reload. Instead of shooting. Oh, where's the reload? I'm waiting for it. I can just taste it. It's coming. They're going to fire? Oh no, some of them actually did fire. Maybe they didn't have to reload. Oh, that looks so epic. And their men are just getting absolutely annihilated. So yeah, we'll go ahead and take it back to normal speed. They shouldn't last much longer. They just disappeared. <laughs> I guess I just have to advance my men. I, mean, I can see they're here. But they've actually turned invisible. So yeah, let's go ahead and just... There you go. They've gone back their routing now, which is nice. I've got some cannons left. My cannons are just shooting off into the distance. But that's about it. So that means we've taken Jamaica. We can have a nice little holiday. Oh, they actually have some men over there. I'll send these guys just to deal with them. There's only armed civilians, so they shouldn't last too long, I don't think. Their cannons shouldn't last long at all against my uh, grenadiers. There you go, their cannons are actually routing. Same with their arms, armed fire lock. That shouldn't last long in the slightest. Yeah, they should be absolutely annihilated pretty quickly. Especially when they're shooting in such a small comb, they're not even using a decent amount of men. Oh, did we kill enemy general killed? Lovely. Uh, heroic victory. That was a really, really nice victory. Uh, I didn't lose too many men. I've still killed quite a few men as well. The good thing is, as well, is we killed a lot of men which were uh, in this army. There you go. It's really, really small now. So we can just replenish in the city and then go out and clear up British over there. And then we only have to go to Antigua. Oh, they actually killed the army completely. That is very nice. So yeah, let's go ahead and replay this. And then we'll go ahead and replenish all our infantry. They can actually get up to full strength once again. 
we might even recruit some Minutemen or something just to sort of hold the line. Uh, they can go back in the city. Hope do they need the repairs? I'm pretty sure they don't. No, apparently they don't, uh, which is which is good. I will go ahead and upgrade my port to a better a better commercial port. Upgrade the Caribbean over here. Yeah, that's good. Santo de Monaco. We'll go ahead and upgrade that. The French I'm actually at peace with at the moment. The British over there I need to take Antigua still. And then we can actually focus on taking some mainland South Southern America. Oh, we have a really, really nice army over here. That's just chilling. We can go ahead and recruit some more. Some more infantry. Which is very, very nice. Yeah, there we go. That's taken. He got a trait. One command when attacking on land. Which is always lovely. Uh, this Russian. Oh, the Russians didn't actually go to war with me. That's really nice. So I'm actually only at war. Yeah, so I'm actually only at war with the Crimeans over there and the Austrians. So I'm going to go ahead and try and take some more cities. We can we can't really get any decent troops, so we'll build them anyway. We'll go ahead and upgrade that into a better military building, allowing me to build uh, standard line infantry. I'm not actually going to spend any more money here, because if this is taken next turn, like if the Austrians bring up a decent army, then there's not... There's not a lot I can actually do. The Ottomans did actually go and join the war with me against the Crimeans, which is nice. It means I can, if I take this, and that's another city uh, just chilling around in Eastern Europe. And then I can use that as a stronghold to take out Austria. Because I am actually building an army over in the, uh, in the, in Canada, I guess it is. Yeah, I guess it's Canada, Canada. <laughs> oh, I feel so stupid. Yeah, I'm building an army over here in Canada. Uh, which is looking pretty strong uh, to take the Austrian place over there. But yeah, well, it's not looking pretty strong. Two units of infantry, it's not really anything impressive. But it's building anyway, nonetheless. So that's good. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and end the turn. And then with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode. Uh, yeah, if you enjoy the new graphics, uh, please do go ahead and leave a like and a comment saying you do. Uh, I think it really helps improve the quality of my videos. Uh, it will help me run games so much more smoother. And I'll be able to have a lot more men on the on the field of battle at once which is really really nice so yeah if you enjoyed this episode please give a like and comment uh it lets me know that you guys want to see more of it and i will be doing more of it the more you guys like it so if a video gets say like 50 60 likes and i'll know that you guys want to be seeing that video or that series so i'll be more likely to do that series so yeah um 